Hi, everybody. Next week is going to be something entirely different for this channel. We're going to make a diorama. Now, don't worry. The project is done. However, in order to run, we have to learn to walk first. So I'm going to show you how to make silicone molds out of real rock. And then I'm going to use these molds to cast some rocks for future projects. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe, like, and welcome to the workshop. So this is the tools and the materials list for this project. The latex was bought online from a store that specializes in latex clothing. It's black, so it's much easier to see when dry to apply a next layer. And it's only 250 mil, so I didn't have to buy a whole kilo, which would go to waste probably. As you can see, 250 milliliters makes four kind of big molds. So that's more than plenty for the projects that I'm going to use it for. We're gonna start off by cleaning the rock. We had a big rainstorm here last night, so I didn't have to do a lot of work, just a stiff bristled brush and that's it if it's really muddy you can use water and soap now this is the piece that we are that I'm going to cast I'm going to do the entire side of the rock first layer very important apply this thoroughly because you want the latex to penetrate all the little nooks and crannies of the rock so we can get all that nice texture be thorough use a stippling motion and get it everywhere allow this layer to dry thoroughly and then we're going to apply a second layer again hit it with a stippling motion for all the little detail that we missed in the first run let it dry thoroughly and then we hit it with a third layer drying time is usually between half an hour and to up to two hours now we had really sunny weather so it took like 30 45 minutes now the fourth layer is where we're going to apply a layer of medical gauze i hit the rock with a layer of latex and then i apply the gauze make sure it wraps the rock and then apply a little bit of latex and let it dry Time for the fifth layer. We're going to cover up the gauze. This can be a nice thick layer, but this latex is quite runny. So I'm going to apply a last layer. Let it dry. And it's time to peel off. Now, latex is pretty strong, especially when you apply six layers, but still, please be gentle, especially at the sides. That's the first part of the latex that we are going to get loosened up. And after you have pulled off the sides, it's time to get the molds entirely off the rock. Like so, time to clean up. I cut away all the excess gauze from the sides of the mold. Then after cleaning the mold, it's time for the last step in the mold making process. I'm going to boil the mold in water for about 10 minutes. This is going to get rid of the stickiness and is going to make the mold stronger. And then it's time to start casting some rocks. This is the tools and the materials list for the rock casting. I'm going to use a couple of molds that I made previously in the exact same fashion and from the exact same rock that we saw earlier. First thing we are going to do is make sure that the molds can't move when we pour the plaster in. So I place the molds into a container with a little bit of paper beneath. You can use rice or sand, but this is what I had lying around. When making plaster, I can highly recommend to just read the instructions as it says on the back. Now this particular brand of plaster requires one part of water against three parts of plaster. Sprinkle the plaster over the water and let it sit for about a minute. I use these bendable cups that are really cheap in the store and are basically made for this kind of stuff. So after a minute, 
we start by mixing the plaster through the water again for about a minute till it's mixed properly I then spray the molds with a mixture of water and isopropanol pouring the molds this particular brand asks for about 30 minutes of drying time which is pretty fast I'm happy with this and this is the result lovely casts with great detail these will be used in a, the next project being the diorama and some other projects if you want to keep up please go check out my instagram or my facebook page i want to thank you all very much for watching like subscribe you know what to do and i'll see you soon bye